Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. I have the uh, Ipsy, I was gonna say Allure. Nope, we just did that one. I have the Ipsy and ba bag to unbag with you guys. That makes so much sense. I feel like I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like somebody tied my tongue to my mouth and it's like just not working. Anyway, so this is the regular bag, the one that cost $12. So we're just gonna unbag this and see what's inside of here. I did, I think, take a sneak peek because I picked one of my items. But I'll be honest with you guys, after I take a sneak peek, I kind of forget all about it. I have no idea. I didn't realize you could do sneak peeks for most of your boxes until recently. And then I was like, holy moly, where have I been? So that's really awesome that you can actually pick items out of your bags now. I know with like FabFitFun this month, I was able to pick every single item that I wanted. Do I remember what I picked? Absolutely not. But I did pick everything that I wanted. So that's really cool that they're doing boxes like that now. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. Cut it open. Oh, oof, it was close. I almost cut the bag. The bag itself is really cute. Nothing left inside of here. So here is the bag. It's just a pink and a darker pink bag with like a floral design. It feels very, it feels like plastic, but not like, I don't know, it feels weird. It's a very interesting texture. I'm not, I don't understand what it feels like. I don't know. And then it does have a little Ipsy little zipper here. And then you open it up and it's pink on the inside. So we have a card and let's see, the card does have information, which we all appreciate. So the first thing I see in here is from Hey Honey. Oh, I'm not a huge Hey Honey fan as well as the, oh my gosh, Juice Beauty. I don't really like that one either. Those are, there's just two, some skincare brands that just I've not seen results with. But this is the Hey Honey Boosted Up Honey Rich Moisturizer. An all day long lasting nourishment and hydrator. My hands are actually really dry right now. So I'm going to put a little on my hand and see how it works out. Oh, I was going to smell it, but there's a safety seal. That's not how you do it. Let's see. Put a little on my hand. I felt kind of a lot, actually. Oh, let's share here. Share the wealth. It smells good. It smells kind of rosy. So if you like the scent of roses, you might enjoy this. I like the scent of roses. So for me, this is nice. Yeah, it feels, I mean, it smells really nice. It doesn't feel super hydrating, though. I'm going to be honest. My hands are still feeling kind of dry and rough. I mean, we're all washing our hands quite a bit still, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's like super hydrating, but the good thing is like it sinks in like almost immediately. My hands don't feel greasy or anything like that. So that is a nice aspect because I don't know about you guys, but the worst thing is when you put lotion on your hands and then you go to grab something and your hands are so slippery, you drop it. That's, that's not cool. Let's see. We have the Hey Honey. It says, get ready to glow. This luxurious cream plumps, brightens, and moisturizes to give dry, dull looking skin a dewy, luminous look. Plus, it's infused with honey to mi minimize redness and inflammation. Use this as a last step in your skincare both morning and night. Oh, this is for your face, not your hands. Well, that makes more sense. Not kinda, not really, honestly, because it's got a rose scent to it. I don't know if I want that on my face. They're saying it should smell like honey. <laughs> I don't smell honey. I smell roses. It says the full size of this is $52. Would I pay $52 for this by using it on my hands the one time? No, I would not. The next thing is from Annie Doach. This is a tinted moisturizer. So this one is more of like a um, tinted, like sun, not sunscreen, but like kind of like a foundation that you mix with lotion. So it's a skincare meets color. This is the, by The Balm. It says clean beauty, green packaging. I think this is the item I picked, I'm pretty sure. It says this complexion perfector is made with bioretinol, a natural ingredient that mimics the lawn smoothing effects of retinol plus vitamins A and C to brighten and protect. Bonus, it comes in a post-consumable recycled tube. Use a beauty sponge brush or your fingers to blend onto your skin and add more where needed. So this is $24. So that's not a bad price for a like foundation. And in the summertime, I don't typically wear anything really heavy on my skin. So this could be a perfect item for the summer. I don't think it has sunscreen in it, which is the one thing that they could have benefited from. Antidote. That's funny. I just now got that. <laughs> I like their puns. They're very punny. Okay, so here's what it looks like on my hand. Sinks in very effortlessly. I had like a lipstick stain there and it's kind of make, covering that up pretty well, which is impressive for like a, what is this called? 
tinted moisturizer for a tinted moisturizer. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be nice, actually. It smells a little makeup-y. I don't know. There's, I don't know how to describe it other than that. Um, it feels nice, though. It feels really nice. So I'm actually excited about using that as well. So I think that's going to be perfect for the summer. The color looks like it might be a little bit deep for me for right now, but I think that I can make it work for sure. What color did I end up getting? Number 26. So yeah, it doesn't say anything about sunscreen. So if you're looking for sunscreen, I don't think that has it in it. The next thing is from uh, Gloss on Fifth Beauty. Bye Bye Puffy Eyes. This is a cooling eye balm. It's just not a tiny little container here. This is Glow and Fifth. Bye Bye Puffy Eyes Under Eyes Need a Wake Up Call. The cooling eye balm has you covered. It's infused with caffeine, shea butter, and a berry extract to minimize dark circles, re reduce puffiness, and refresh tired looking skin. Gently dab a small amount beneath both eyes and it's, until it's fully absorbed. The full size is $24. So I'm going to toss this into my sample Sunday to try out because Unless you guys want me to start bringing back the video where I show you the new bag and then review the month before, that's the best way for me to try out really small samples unless it's something I, I know for sure I'm going to like try immediately. Like the tinted sunscreen, or not tinted sunscreen, like the tinted moisturizer. I want to try that because if it's really good, then I would, I would purchase that for the summer. This I thought was like a hand hydrator, which is probably what I'm going to use it for. So it's just, a, I thought it was a moisturizer for that. But anyway. That's why I do it that way. But if you guys want me to bring back the ones where I review the month before and preview the new bags, let me know because I can do it that way. Otherwise, I'm just going to do unbagging and then let you guys know how things are and kind of test it out a little bit. The next thing is from Basic Beauty. This is a smooth and blur primer in translucent. Um, this says the difference between a really good makeup day and an amazing one the super powered primer. The clear gel formula can be used on all skin tones and blurs imperfections, smooths rough texture, minimizes pores, and locks your look into place for hours. Smooth a thin layer over your skin and let it set for 15 minutes before applying makeup. Says so the full size is $16. I'm seeing that this has silicone in it. <laughs> glycerin. Isn't glycerin like silicone? I don't know. Isopurple something something. I don't know. I'm not sure this is going to work for my skin because I can't use products that have skeletons. <laughs> silicone. I couldn't say the word. I can't use silicone like makeup primers because it just kind of like peels off my skin. It doesn't work well for my dry skin. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this into my sample Sunday giveaway because I don't think it's something I want to try because I have a feeling it's just not going to work for me. The next thing is from Skin & Co. Roma. This is the Morning Dew. I've tried lots of things from this brand, but I don't think I've tried this before. This is a Gel Botanico, an ultra gentle botanical face cleansing gel. Hmm. Uh, it says, perfect for dry and sensitive skin types. This two-in-one sulfate-free cleanser gently removes makeup and impurities with a combo of healthy ingredients. Antioxidants, uh, soothing cucumber and calendula extracts. It's brightening papaya extract. Rises through. Okay, so this is the full size for this would be $25. So it's, it seems like nothing in here was super expensive, 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 which is really nice because sometimes you get bags and you're like, there's no way I'm going to repurchase that. This is nice because I feel like everything was a little bit more mid range for pricing, which is nice. So if you do end up falling in love with something, it's not going to like break the bank to purchase it in the full size. So $25 for this if I end up loving it. So what I'm going to do is put this in my sample Sunday and try it out for there. But that is everything in my Ipsy bag. Of course, the bag itself. Do I think this was worth $12? I mean, I think it's barely, barely, barely making it. I'll be honest. I don't feel like this was a good one. It was just okay. I mean, we have the moisture, tinted moisturizer. We have supposedly a face moisturizer. We have an eye cream. We have a face wash and we have a primer, which is all good because it's kind of like you have almost a full face here that you can clean it, you can wash it, you can put makeup on. However, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just not excited. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like blah. It was like, you know, somebody says, hey, I got you want to come over for some ice cream and you're hoping they have Rocky Road and you go there and they have vanilla. You're like, oh, okay, that's good. We'll have vanilla ice cream. 
But anyway, that's everything in the bag. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Do you think this was worth $12? I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.